Hadacha, additions to Esther, 13. The great king Artach Shashta, unto the princes and governors of a hundred and seven and twenty provinces from India unto Kush, and unto all our faithful subjects, greeting. Many, the more often they are honored with the great bounty of their gracious princes, the more proud they are waxen, and endeavor to hurt not, nor rather not our subjects only, but not being able to bear abundance, do take in hand to practice also against those that do them good. And take not only thankfulness away from among men, but also lift it up with the glorious words of lewd persons that were never good. They think to escape the justice of Elohim that sees all things and hates evil. Oftentimes also fair speech of those that are put in trust to manage their friends' affairs has caused many that are in authority to be partakers of innocent blood and has enwrapped them in remediless, rather, remediless calamities, beguiling with the falsehood and deceit of their lewd disposition the innocency and goodness of princes. Now ye may see this, as we have declared, not so much by ancient histories as ye may, if ye search what has been wickedly done of late through the pestilent behavior of them that are unworthily placed in authority. And we must take care for the time to come that our kingdom may be quiet and peaceable for all men both by changing our purposes and always judging things that are evident with more equal proceeding. For Haman, a Macedonian, the son of Hamadatha, being indeed a stranger from the Persian blood and far distance, distant from our goodness, and as a stranger received of us, had so far forth obtained the favor that we should rather that we show toward every nation, as that he was called our father, and was continually honored of all the next person unto the king. But he, not bearing his great dignity, went about to deprive us of our kingdom and life, having by manifold and cunning deceits sought of us the destruction, as well of Mordechai, who saved our life, and continually procured our good, as also of blameless Echter, partaker of our kingdom, with their whole nation. For by these means, he thought, finding us destitute of friends, to have translated the kingdom of the Persians to the Macedonians. But we find that the Yahudim, whom this wicked wretch has delivered to utter destruction, are no evildoers, but live by most just Torah. And they, and that they be children of El Elian, and most mighty, living Elohim, who has ordered the kingdom both unto us and to our progenitors, rather progenitors, in the most excellent manner. Wherefore, Ye shall do well not to put in execution the Sepharim sent unto you by Haman, the son of Hamadatha. For he that was the worker of these things is hanged at the gates of Shusha with all his family. Elohim, who rules all things, speedily rendered vengeance to him according to his deserts. Therefore, Ye shall publish the copy of this Sefer in all places, that the Yahudim may freely live after their own Torah, 
and ye shall aid them, that even the same day, being the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, Adar, they may be avenged of them, who in the time of their affliction shall set upon them. For El Shaddai has turned to joy unto them the day wherein the chosen people should have perished. Ye shall therefore among your solemn feasts keep it a high day with all feasting, that both now and hereafter there may be safety to us and the well-affected Persians, but to those which do conspire against us a memorial of destruction. Therefore, every city and country whatsoever, which shall not do according to these things, shall be destroyed without mercy, with fire and sword, and shall be made not only unpassable for men, but also most hateful to wild beasts and fowls forever. The copy of the writing for a commandment to be given in every province was published unto all people, and that the Yahudim should be ready against that day to avenge themselves on their enemies. So the posts that rode upon mules and camels went out, being hastened and pressed on by the king's commandment, and the decree was given at Shushan the palace. And Mordechai went out from the presence of the king in royal apparel of blue and white, and with a great crown of gold, and with a garment of fine linen and purple. And the city of Shushan rejoiced and was glad. The Yahudim had light and gladness and joy and honor. And in every province and in every city, whithersoever the king's commandment and his decree came, the Yahudim had joy and gladness, a feast and a good day. And many of the people of the land became Yahudim, for the fear of the Yahudim fell upon them.